Welcome to Cell Tech Geosynthetics. This is a quick lesson on how to make your own rebar. The tools you'll need are a rebar bender. This can be purchased for about $300, $350. Or if you want to get in mass production, you can buy an electric one. They run about a couple thousand dollars. All Cell Tech used that does not have a hard surface needs to be pinned to the earth. This will stop things from moving up and down due to freezing and thawing and friction. And any cell tech with hard surfaces doesn't require J-hooks. Choosing the right size J-hook. For a 3-inch cell, you need to use the J-hook of 12 inches deep. A 4-inch cell needs an 18-inch J-hook. You can find these diagrams on our website. And a 6-inch? needs a 24. An easy way to remember what size J-hook you need is four times the depth of the cell, at least. It'll ensure proper anchoring. Once you've selected the J-hook, you need to measure your rebar and use the rebar tool to cut it. Then you'll continue to cut the number of pieces needed for the job. We're ready to make the pieces into a J-hook. Insert the end of the rod into the end of the bender and bend it around like so. With two people, you should be able to make a J-hook about every 20 to 30 seconds. So you can see that the rebar bender and cutter is a necessary tool to have. J-hooks are also used in our slope grid. You can find this on our website. Once your cellular confinement is laid out and you're ready to install the J-hooks, simply pull the grid tight line up the J-hook and simply hammer it into the ground. Simply repeat this process, put the J-hooks in where they're necessary. When we use J-hooks, we're going to pound them into the ground, so we want to make sure that there's no underground lines, gas, cable, electric, so we need to call Miss Utility before installing the J-hooks in the area. Now when you pound down to the end, Make sure it overlaps the cell, and then you can pound it down about an inch past. J-hooks are required for slope, channel, and all sorts of other cellular confinement. Once everything's laid out, you're ready for infill. Proper infill is always most important. When doing a grassy pave, you'll need to fill it with some good organic topsoil. This will ensure hardy growth. And just know the systems. When you use geogrids to geotextiles, it makes it different for root growth. Thanks again, and thank you for your interest in Celtec. And for more information, please call or go on our website. Or ask your local dealer. We now have over 130 dealers nationwide.